Oh my god. That is cursed. It's the secret cow level, guys. So, we are on the war with an alpha, guys. That's right. We got into the war with an alpha. And today will be our very first experience with it. I'm actually quite excited. So, I want to make a character. We're going to be making a warrior, of course. We're going to be delving into the new zone called Dorne. We're going to be trying out the dungeons. We're going to be trying out delving as well, which I'm very excited about. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is cursed. Absolutely. But we're going to make the character, I think. And I think we need to go make a template character, right? Create character. I think, guys, we are going to go with the classic orc male warrior. Yep. That's the one we're going to go with, guys. Okay. Randomize and go. You want me to do that? All right, you know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna click randomize five times and we'll go with that. One. Oh my gosh. Two. I kinda like this one. Three. Oh my god, this, this guy looks like a mad scientist. Four. Next one will be the character we make. Five. Oh my lord. Dude, this guy looks. Dude, he kinda looks like an old Blade Master. Like a, like a, like an ancient old blade master. I actually like this. I I kind of like this look. What the heck? All right, randomize. Do the same thing. Five names. Maramu. Okay. One, two. Warren. Kind of like that. Three. Bailiga. Four. Fuzark. And five. The chosen name. Fusilkas, <laughs> all right. Fusilkas the warrior, there it is. Send it. Uh, why is he inside the, the, the... Dude, this is... Okay, well, yeah. Obviously, this is a work in process. Uh, let's just say that. Let's just, uh, let's just say that. I like the warband look, though. This, having your characters like here, like, is really cool. Report issue. There is a bunch of torrents in my warband. Just standing. Okay, submit. There we go. All right. Let's log in, chat. Interworld Fuselkas. Oh, Gilneas reclaimed. That's the Rothian archives. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Uh, Vial of the Sands. Wait, do we just get all the mounts? Or what's going on here? Okay. Oi, okay, this is definitely... Dude, this reminds me so much of those, like, <laughs> private servers. Uh, 255, uh, like, level, like, leveling roads and hygiene and stuff. Okay, uh, I want to real fast... Can I fix my UI? A few moments later. A strafe, I need to reload just so I can save this. Making sure if I, if I get disconnected, it's still saved. Oi! What is this? Okay, this is new. What the heck is this? Wait, so my spellbook is... What? That looks so different. But how do I drag things from my... Oh, okay, my... Okay, I was gonna say, this is gonna be really annoying if I gotta drag stuff on my bars, but I guess it shows up like that. Um, it's very big. Yeah, it's an actual book, but it's it's very, very, very big. I don't mind it, actually. I, 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 I don't hate it. It's just a little bit... It's very different. Maybe it's my UI scale that's just like out the wazoo, right? Rampage, melee... Oh, I kind of want to go arms, unironically. I don't know if arms is going to be better, though. Guys, I'm going to change the helmet. Just give me a second. Chat, do we go arms or fury? What do we do? I think arms is badass, personally. Oh, I think I want to... I think I want... Guys, I want to try arms, I think. We, 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 we can try both. We can try both. Oi! Okay, that's a lot of new stuff. Oh, this means I have to, like, do it all again. Oh my gosh. Okay, kick goes there. This is a heal thing. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Whew! Alright, I think I'm almost there. I think I'm decently happy now with how my UI looks like. Too many buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talent points. Okay. 
I have no idea what's the best talents, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I really have no clue. There's starter talents too. Yeah, see, there's like a loadout, right? Starter build. A preset... A preset that's talent build that's suitable for most content. You know what? Let's just send them with that. What does that do? Oi! Okay, so we're kind of like a hurricane build. That means blade storm. I kind of like that. We got some warlords torment, rabbit. Okay, okay, okay. Just do that if you don't like something, you can change it easily. I think there's no reason to go crazy hard with trying to figure out what build is the best at the moment. Because uh, there is a lot more other things I would probably rather do at the moment here. Yeah, I think we'll just go, guys. Okay, I have set my talents, gear equipped, and I'm ready to adventure to the, to the Isle of Dorne. Yeah, let's go. Ancestors watch over you. Oh, okay, took a little time. I was like, I was about to say M. What was going on here? Okay, cool. Isle of Dorne, Tranquil Strand. Ah, it's the classic intro of your washed up on a beach. Okay. So I would assume. Oh, shoot, he just died. God damn. Yeah, I would assume there's a cinematic that, cinematic that we missed, right? There probably was some sort of cinematic with Dalaran crashing because that is the rubble of Dalaran. And now we ended up on the beach. Alright. That's what I would assume happened. But, uh, you know, once the actual thing comes out, then we'll see. Alright, Fusil Koss has escaped the, the rubble here. Uh, dude, I don't know what my rotation are or anything. Okay, so um, we're gonna work it out. Turn crab mode on. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Before we get going, how do I do that? I I, I don't want to play with it like all the time, but there's supposed to be an arachnophobia feature where you can turn the... There it is, arachnophobia mode. So this is a new feature added in the alpha or like in, in the war within, and this is currently in the alpha. So here, this will replace spiders with alternative creatures. It doesn't affect gameplay or difficulty. Let's try to turn it on, guys, and see. <laughs> Wait, that is so funny! <laughs> Wait, so they're all just lobsters and crabs. This guy up here, though, is still a Nerubian. Wait, hold on. Let me just try to turn it back on again. So this guy, okay, so this guy looks like a, like a lobster now, right? And we turn it back on, or back off. That is hilarious. That is so funny. Honestly, I have no issue with this. If it makes more people being able to play the game and stuff like that, it doesn't change anything for anyone. I think it's kind of funny. It makes me kind of want to go into uh, Ankanet, the Fallen Kingdom, and those like Wrath Dungeons and just try to turn on it on and then see. That's funny. God. We gotta fix that spider over there ASAP, true. Okay, so, Thrall. Dude, he looks kinda cool now. Damn, okay, I kinda like the look. Alright. I like, it's uh, like kinda like his old school look a little bit. I like the look of Thrall. Fuselkos, you survived. Good, keep your weapons at the ready. This battle is his beginning. Okay, so we gotta aid some survivors of the Dalaran crash. Many who were in Dalaran... Melimer and Dalaran, when it went down, are accounted for. They will need our help. Okay. And also Jaina. So we need to kill the Nerubians, and we need to save the boys. I like the... Uh, I don't know. I, I like the area. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I think it looks pretty interesting. Oh, do I not... Oh, I do have uh, sweeping strikes, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's do some fat damage here, guys. Dude, I am... Destroying people. Spiders. I'm destroying spiders. Jesus. Okay. We're doing some big damn here. What the heck? Drawing the power. Okay. Dude, guys, Warrior has to be the best class in the game, man. Straight up. Any expansion, any version of WoW. Warrior, it, it, it's just it's a gamer. It's a gamer one, man. So much to discuss. Oh, that's the guy! Well Moira! Oh shoot! Did you find something? Give me something to figure. Oh. I want to see. Oh. Speak your piece. 
Okay, Moira. There we go. Okay. Oi! Malfunction. Oh, what is this? Bonus map? So anyway, I started spinning. Ah. Uh. A null stone, sometimes gathered by players within a mining skill, can be bought and sold on the auction house. Okay, cool. Some sort of a, a little thing here, I guess. Is this a new icon as well? Maybe it shows up the item you're supposed to be using. Okay, turn in the quest here. Oh yeah, wait, look. Wait, no, she is not sleeping. I heard that she always had her eyes closed, but I guess in her portrait she, she does. The way forward will not take Okay, us. turn in the quest the here. Nice. Okay, where do we want to go now? Greetings, oh, sir. there he is! I kinda... Interesting model. He does have a, a Chad... Uh, <laughs> a Chad... Uh, what is it called? Line of the, the chin, man. Holy crap, like a chin. He looks like a human? He looks generic? I don't mind the look personally. He, he does look a little bit generic, yeah, but I, I, I kind of like it, but I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what they do with him. I, I don't mind it personally. Uh, find Magni and defeat the Queen's Guard. Cyrix. Queen's Guard Cyrix emerged from the ground and surprised Magni. He is near and farthest edge of the wreckage, fighting off his swarm. Okay. So we gotta go group up and then kill that thing. Do we just go in? Okay, let's go. Pop my avatar here. Do some big damage. Start spinning. Yeah. Oh. Swarms of Ashkahed rise and devour them. Oh. <clears throat> Real time cutscene. RTC. Uh, 11.0. SR8. The Storm Riders arrive. Queen's Guard Cyrix begins to call for another sword to the beach. Magni and his allies brace themselves for the one final stand. Suddenly, Belgrim and the Storm Riders appear and attack Cyrix. Cyrix and the Nerubians borrow away, retreating. Belgrim is astonished to see Magni and begins to interrogate him about his presence here. There is a massive explosion in the distance towards Dornogal, their city. Holy... Just imagine, guys, we need to use... Our, it's like reading a book. We're using our imagination. Um, you may not be a trespasser, but you are not our allies either, Outlander. If you're going to blame the Nerubians emerging, then you are responsible for Dornorgal as well. Okay, and this necklace is worse than the one I have. Uh, interesting. Um, okay, you have brought death and destruction to our shores, like the likes of which has not been seen since the millennia. But you have Nerubian blood on your hands and Thergo at your side. This is enough to earn my trust for now. Okay, I will send another stormer to collect your allies. Okay, so we're going to the um, the main city now, the big city here. Oh, I didn't even open the uh, the the map yet. Oh, wait, the map looks you can you can really tell it's like an alpha map, right? What the heck? Interesting. So that's the main main city, right? Hello, fall down there, the ringing deeps and Ashkahet. That's the big city, I guess. And it's supposed to be down here, right? Yeah, the map is really getting filled up, man. I, I, I'm not doing it right now, though. Wait. I'm not even playing. Kind of wish I got to fly here. A little bit. It, it, it's just kind of playing for me. Okay. Uh, mount the Stormrook, Locrin, and slay Nerubians in Dornogal. Okay, so we're, we're clearing up the, the city from all the Nerubians here. Cool. Um, oh, this guy. Okay. This reminds me of the uh, Isle of Queldalas, like, uh, is it that what it's called? Like the TBC place with, uh, with Brutalus where you fly through. There we go. Nice, got it. This is flyby shit that's been boring since TBC. I mean, I listen, when it comes to like things like these, I don't really mind them as long as it's not like uh, too much, right? If it's just like once in a while, for like some story narrative or whatever, it's fine. I think some vehicle combat here and there doesn't really hurt that much. Oh my god, this is so deep! Dude, I, I can't, what the heck, man, that's really deep! Jump? No, I don't know if I want to do that, chat. Hey! 
Alright, so there is a flight, uh, flying mount when you're dead, guys. Pretty interesting. Uh, it does look like there's an elevator, though, that goes down, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah. Surely, right? <clears throat> or is it broken? This definitely does seem like an elevator kind of vibe. Um, no, so look, look, no path available. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, can I fly? Oh, wait, there's no way I can... Unless... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, get a little bit of vigor, get a little bit of vigor. Okay, I'm just generating vigor. Give me a moment, give me a, give me a moment. Okay, I am a dragon flying professional. Generating it? Up! Uh, okay. Stand on the wall there? Oh yeah, true actually. Wait, hold. We stand, we stand. Okay. Get me up. Oh my god. Okay. Next time, let's not jump into there. Okay. Let's go over here. Balegrim. Alright, we made it. We got the memory gem. Okay, okay. Speak. Look at her. That is... That's a fancy beard. Okay, a little bit more fancy than mine is, that's for sure. Okay, use the prismatic codex to view the memory gem, then return the memory gem to the archival repository in the archives. Okay. Ah, so we get some lore. Okay. Oi. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Damn! So the, Ru the Rubians has killed everybody, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're the bad boys. Uh, and we got our deposit up here. Okay. There we go. Nice. And we turn this in here. Hey, we completed 10 quests. Look at that. All right, I am Eric's Council of Donegal. Appreciate your aid, especially in light of the fraught nature of your arrival. You must beg Stormwind Belquin being suspicious part of his his directive. A feel more formal discussion of our situation is warranted. Okay. In the meantime, you are my guest. Take my ring. It will allow you to access to Donegal's many amenities. Okay. So we are an honored guest of Donegal, I guess. I like it. Um, I mean, we basically almost just got into it now. It's a lot with Nerubians and stuff like that. I like Nerubians. I think they're cool. So, uh... Yeah, I like the aesthetics of the, the zone quite a lot, so far. It is an alpha still, so it's really hard to really say, obviously, but... So this is the city, right? Yeah, this is the big city. Dude, this feels like an... Like, obviously, like a more... Updated version, but like an outdoor, like, kind of Ironforge vibe. It's very interesting. Okay. So, journey to the Eath Crawl Mines Delve. Oh, so this is a Flight Master. Oh yeah, that is a new looking thing. It's like a little, um... Yeah. So they... Oh! So if you don't have it, it's green, and then... Okay, that looks interesting. So this is the Delve thing thingamajig. This is one of the things I'm quite excited about, that I hope that they do really, really well. Ah, I... <laughs> I don't want to put my expectations high, right? Obviously, we are in an alpha, but this is supposedly like a solo kind of content that you can do, which has a difficulty um, variance where you can go higher and higher. Right. I hope that this turns out to be amazing, but obviously this is alpha, so there's a very early look at how it will be, right? Ah, uh, 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 fossil cars. I can't express how relieved I am to see you again. I went exploring and found the village. Just had been attacked by the Nerubians just before I arrived. I think the attack happened around the same time the core away and the Dalaran attacks. This must be a coordinated effort. Brand size. The earth need help, and I can't do it alone. Who knows? We might, we might find other things of interest. So how about it? Let's go save the earthen in the delve. Let's stock up on supplies before we head. Okay. In. Uh, I really hope they will balance it to the class you are, like warriors can't do what a druid can do. I mean, an ultimate scenario if it, it would be if it turned into be some like, I don't know, like, like the way that mage towers turned out to be, like some actual challenging, you know, 
solo content that's different different from each class that you're on right so there is like a different difficulty depending on what you're playing and different like kind of like experience with it but i guess we'll see all right let's do this through here okay so we can make him a healer or a damage dealer okay all right so so okay and we can give him abilities and stuff like that too he just left without me yeah, so you, you, tu you tune him to, like, how you want to do it. All right, well, let's go inside. Into the delve. Earthcrawl Mines. Dude, this is like Dark Souls, man. Yo, okay. So, there's a tier. Tier 1. The Rubens have kidnapped the miners from the village. Minimum... Ch for Recommended for adventurers who want the minimum challenge. Webs reduce movement speed by 50% and periodically spawn ambushes while standing with it, within it. And you get some spoils. So, if you go to... Level 2, that's a moderate challenge. So 25 more health and damage. Traps and challenges appear. And still the same trap thing. And then once we get... Completion of the main campaign and the warband and Ivan level two, 4, 2, 5, we can go there. Alright, let's do tier 2. Let's do tier 2. UI is work in progress too. This is my big question mark regarding the expansion. This is the thing I found really interesting. Like, I wonder how this will turn out. But let's go. Oh, pretty clean transition. Okay. Weave guts and repairs. Add one socket to an amulet or a ring. A socket. Oh, maybe it's like you get special um, items from this. Then you put could can put the sockets into right. Okay, I'll guard the guard uh, and help you rescue your friends. Okay, let's go. Earth crawl mines. So we need to guide the thing forward, and we need to kill a bunch of mobs, I guess. So it's a bit like Torghast, indeed. A little bit! Oh, there's a map as well! But what, what... But we need to help them, right? You'll find me wherever the action is. Oh, okay, so we, we, we help these guys, okay. Let's go through. Earthcrawl... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Kill these guys real fast. Shouldn't be a big problem, right? Yeah, you got it, we got it, we got it. I don't know what the heck I'm pressing though half the time, okay? Just uh, letting you guys know about that real fast. Do we give us base hunter? Oh, we're getting some rep, by the way. No, wait, what? We're getting experience with Brand's bronze beard. Each mob we kill, he gains experience. Yeah, so he has some, some like, you can level him up or something? Found a bit of gold, okay. What do we get from this? Web spool. Ah, oh, so it is, okay, so it is somewhat like a rogue, like, a little bit, like, kind of torque Chance when attacking an enemy to root them in place for three seconds. This lasts one minute. Okay, so it, oh, so it lasts for a minute? Oh, it's not a permanent buff. It's like a, you get it for a little while. Interesting. Torghast. <laughs> I mean, I think some some of the parts from, from Torghast actually wasn't horrible. Immune to all damage for one minute. I mean, I don't need to use that right now, do I? Oh, I can keep it and then use it later. I can talk to this guy. Let's get this cart moving. I'll keep you safe. Okay. Have I beaten Mage Tower? I remember I did a little bit of Mage Tower back in Legion, but I only played Legion in the very end because that's when I stopped streaming uh, private servers and stuff. So I played a little bit of that. I only played the very end of Legion. Like literally the pre-patch for next expansions where I played. Oh, wait, what? Interesting. So this is like a checkpoint, I guess? It's the first level? Yeah, maybe. Save point, yeah, I guess. 13 tiers will be... Qu tier 13 will be quite hard. I hope so. I mean, a challenge would be would be really fun. I really don't hope they make it, like, mandatory to, like, farm it, right? Because that's kind of what killed Torghast, I think. That it was, like, a mandatory thing to farm for progression. I made it very unfun, right? Okay, let's start spinning on this one. Big damage. Torghast was ruined by being mandatory. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, that's kind of dope! 
Wait, that's a sick mechanic, actually. I like that. Wait. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I could imagine this on, like, a higher difficulty. Delve level up. Okay. So he got a new ability, and we go into the treasure room afterwards. This could be fun, I think. Like a solo kind of dungeon thing with that. This this has potential. It's really hard to say, like what's if this is good or not yet, though. But this has potential, I think. I think they said it, this is for players that don't want to do dungeon raids to get end game stuff. It it looks interesting. Oh, bouncer! Oh, I got a pet. Okay, I don't know if this haste versa is better. Oh, I got a pet. Obsidian Weave Rat. Oh my god! Wait, that is so cute! Hey, Bran, can you get away? I can feel it. Yeah. You'll find me wherever the action is. Yeah, I see that. Can I make it a crap? Hold. Ah, it doesn't change it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's some loot and there's some rewards. I got a pet and I got some gear, right? Wait, did it change? Wait, are you... Oh my god, it does! Dude, Brand, can you... Oh my gosh. That is really funny. How do, how do I leave? Oh, here. I'm kind of... Dude, delving could be interesting, chat. Delves could be really interesting. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, this is the Dalaran Sewer. Oh, shit. A single dead Tornish, Dornish pike fies, fi, fish lies nearby. This turtle is trying to help the hat rat to recover. He gazes up at you, then looks to the fish. Maybe with greater supply, he can help the rat. Over five Dornish pike. Oh, shit. Man, poor little rat. Get the fish right now? Yeah, but... I don't, I don't know where the fish is. Did he look at the fish? Oh, you gotta go, fish! Eh! All right, back to Dorn. All right, let me pick up fishing. All right, let's save this rat, guys. Let's save this gosh darn rat. Oh, something here. Delve treasures. Ah. Oh. So we get resonance crystals for doing delves, and we can use those for... Transmog. Oh, dude, it's a fish. <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a mushroom hat. It's an angler fish. Yeah, dude, this looks kind of scary, actually. What the heck? The bronze, dude. This isn't even the coolest one. I what? This is like this one is ten k. That's not even the coolest one. Actually, the real back piece. Little spoder thing, a spine, back piece, and a toy. Conjure a body of water. I mean, I, I hope that it's kind of like a more like that that it's focused on, right? But the delves definitely have big potential. Wait, what? Oh, I thought. Oh my god, I thought it was a dude. Okay. Oh, uh, there is some water here. This could make sense for a fishing trainer. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mordiel. Shout out to Mordiel, guys. Fishing trainer. Okay. Got it. Do we need a fishing rod in um, in this? Click this button while facing a body of wall art, then click on the bobber when it splashes. You can drag this button to your auction bar. No need? Okay, so we gotta go fish some pike. Okay, back to the rats, guys. I'm enjoying myself. Having fun. Fishing on the shores. On my way to save Mr. Splinter. It's not giving me any fish, by the way. Maybe there is no fish yet? Damn it! Chat, I don't know if we can save Mr. Splinter. Yeah. 
Oi! Rainbow fish! No, wait, it does work! Wait, so what did he- he wanted pike, right? Consider the fact that it should be a freshwater fish. Oh, this is salt water, I think. Wait, this is salt water. Dude, we're supposed to be questing! You know, fine. Okay, we're committed to the- to saving the rat, okay? Alright, so this- I mean, this is still- is this fresh water? This might still be salt. I think the stone looks beautiful. I I agree. Maybe maybe the the fish I'm supposed to be getting here ain't uh, ain't um, in the game yet. Uh, the fish skill is not leveling up now. Look how sad he is, guys. He just wants a rainbow. Like he just wants a uh, a pike. Fuck. No. Guys, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the pike. Okay, I'm sorry. What? What? A common fish native all water throughout Castle Gar can be brought and sold on the auction house. Wait, what? Your world first, dude! Damn! I don't know what that's used for, but... Okay. Five Dorney... Okay, calm down. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Back to Valley of Strength. Final chance. Final chance. Five Dornish Pikes. Master Chef. Yo, Gordon Ramsay! Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay. Da warten Scooter! Yes! Okay. We will save Master Splinter. We will save him. Uh, okay. Offer five Dornish Pike. The turtle nudges the fish and chirps happily. This will help a lot. He just needs time. Okay, so maybe I gotta come back here later? And then Mr. Splinter is okay. Okay, we're gonna come back to him later, okay chat? Five minutes later. Oh, wait, he's alive! Oh shit, chat! Recover from a wound! The turtle bumps his head at your approach. The rat is doing better. He looks at the fish bones nearby. Could could one more fish do the trick? Golden gill trout. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's go real fast to Okumar again, guys. Okay. Fish. This rat better be happy now. Alright, here's your here's your fish. The turtle is stunned at the size of the fish. Here comes its senses and stamps his feet in appreciation. It will take time to find the rest of the family. Okay, so I guess we come back here later. Alright, we come back here later again. Okay, there we go. Oi! Real-time cutscene, RTC. Nerubian swarm flyover. The sky overheard. The sky overhead is overwhelmed by a huge swarm of the rubians flying over on the way to the city. I wonder if this is gonna be crabs if you turn it on in the cutscenes as well. So it's like a bunch of crabs that's gonna be flying in over this, uh, over this. <laughs> I hope so. That'd be sick. Oh, holy. Journey to the Procinium in the Isle of Dorn. Our allies are under attack. We must follow that swarm. Okay. May the Black Anvil watch over you. Let's go. Uh, okay, there we go. Repel the Nerubi attack of the Procyon. Okay. So there's definitely a lot of Nerubian action going on here. Cinderbrew Kek picked up and we gotta just kill some people. What is this Kek? Now toss it in here. Explosive. Oh, shit! Yeah. So he's just running around, destroying the burrows. This really reminds me of the quest where you go to, uh... What is that place called? You go to Borean Tundra as Horde in Warsong Hold, and you gotta, like, uh, kill a bunch of the Rubians as well. Like, that really gives me those kind of vibes. 
I remember doing that as a uh, as a mere child. Collapse all the holes. There we go. We're bound to ding very soon though, which is nice. Oh, one more quest, one more quest. Let's get down to business then. Okay. Um, we know that the Nerubians are in league with Salazad, and we have an idea why they attacked us in Dalaran. They seem to be bent on destroying the earth and even kicking while they're down. But why? Is it because the Coraway is the key in destroying in this nay enough? Maybe that's what we're doing here, repairing the Coraway. It's just what they've done and want us to do. We should go back to Donegal and try to piece this together. I dismiss you. Okay, let's go. Alright, we are now at the throne. Best I've seen a few herbs, yeah. There we go, level 71. This means that we now will be opening up a new thing. And it's not friends. It is something called hero talents. So, as a warrior, we can go two ways, it seems. At least while being arms. So this is the first look at the hero talents here. So I'm warrior, obviously. We can go either Colossus or we can go Slayer. A veteran of countless battles who can struck off most attacks while using expert precision to deliver their most powerful strikes and crush their enemies. Or Slayer, a vicious warrior who sets their sights on a target and pursues it relentlessly, overwhelming their foes with an onslaught of smite and steel. Let's be honest, I mean Slayer sounds way more cool than Colossus. Like what? Dominant? Okay, I just want to see what the, the f first one is here. Unleash a series of precise and powerful strikes against your target, dealing a lot of damage, and then damage to enemies within the yards of it. Okay. Deals reduce damage beyond eight targets. While channeling Demolish, you take less damage and are immune to stuns, knockbacks, and forced movement effects. Okay. Beefed up Shockwave? Yeah, I guess. And then there's also Slayer's Dominance. Your attacks have a high chance to overwhelm your target defenses and trigger a Slayer Strike, dealing 14,000 damage and applying more for execution, increasing the damage they take from Nyx Execute by 10% stacks up to 3. Dude, the Condemned build coming back? Overwhelming Blades? Each strike of Bladestorm applies Overwhelm to all targets. What's the final one of each? Colossal Might... Now stacks up to 10 times. If you would gain a stack of Colossal Might and are at max stacks, the cooldown of Demolish is reduced by 2 seconds. And that's that one. Enemies affected by Demolish take up to 10% more damage from you and deal up to 10% less damage to you for 10 seconds based on the number of stacks of Colossal Might to consume by Demolish. When you execute... A oh god, this is like the execute build. When you execute a target that you marked for execution, you both reduce the cool the cooldown of Bladestorm by 5 seconds and apply 2 stacks of Overwhelm to the target per stack of marked of execution consumed. Slay mark for execution? This is this is like a Giga... You heal for 50% of damage dealt by sudden death. This is just like an execute build, straight up. Execute increases your auto attack speed by 30%? So you just spam execute? Guys, I can't change target from the boss, man. I got tunnel vision stacked up. If I change target, I'm gonna lose my buff. <laughs> okay, let me check these out. Critical time in your villas increased by 10% amount of damage blocked by critical blocks increased by 10. You also might increase damage dealt by next demolish by 10. Shockwave's tr stun duration is increased. Shockwave also knocks enemies into the air. Ooh. What's up, Nasura? Take damage, I'm trying to give you a second win for two seconds. Total damage prevented by ignore pain is increased by 15. This seems like what you would go for PvP. Colossus seems like PvP slash tank kind of vibe, and this seems like damage, right? You deal 5% more damage and take 5% less damage. S Size increased by 5%. <laughs> Wait, so you actually get, like, physically bigger? Colossal might increase the damage of your overpower. Mortal Strike and Shield Stamp increases it's like a Colossal Might. Shockwave Cleave Whirlwind and Revenge deal 5% more damage per target afflicted up to 5. Colossal Might increase the damage of your Rend and Deep Wounds by 2. I think I'm gonna go Slayer Chan. I kinda wanna see what Demolish looks like though. Like, I, I, I wanna go Slayer, but I wanna see what that looks like. Okay, I want, I'm gonna try Colossus, but I wanna go Slayer. Fury? Okay, let's check it out, chat. Might as well. Okay, so let me activate Fury Tree and then we'll see. 
Oh, so now you can go Mountain Thane. Lightning Strikes. Damaging enemies with Thunderclap Revenge. Raging Blow Execute has a 57 chance to also strike one with a Lightning Bolt dealing 5k damage. It occurs 50% more often during Avatar. Call of Thunder. Stormstruck and Nature Damage increases damage by 5%. Stormstruck damage ignores armor. Thunderclap damage increased by 50% and generates 5 rage. Passive Strikes also deal 2 damage to near, near their target damage reduced beyond 5 targets. That's like an AoE, like just standard AoE stuff. Seal Slam damage increased by 20%. Lightning Strikes reduce the cooldown Ravager by 1. Chance for Lightning Strikes to critically strike is increased by 5% and their uh, critical damage increased by 10%. Yeah, it sounds like a shaman build, like, actually. Intervening a target grants them a shield. Stormbolt also hits two additional target... Oh, like, AoE stun? Yeah, it's like an actual Bronzebeard build. What? Shield Slam and Bloodthirst have a 20% chance to grant you Thunder Blast. And that makes your next Thunderclap become a Thunder Blast to deal Storm Strike damage. Victory Rush increases your maximum health by 10% for 15. Thunder Blast reduces damage you take by 4. Your damage trigger Lightning Strikes 15% more often. Lightning Strikes generate 3 Rage. Lightning Strikes have a 20% chance to make a new Shield Slams, have no cooldown. And then this one, Avatar of the Storm, final one. Casting Avatar grants you 2 charges of Thunder Blast and resets the cooldown of Thunder Clap. While Avatar is not active, Lightning Strikes have a 10% chance to grant you Avatar for 4 seconds. What?! And Lightning Strikes is... This. That's interesting, dude. I, Mountain Thane sounds really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to ARMS. And we'll continue. I'm, I'm starting with Colossus chat. We're starting with Colossus and then we'll see. Uh, open my spell book. Dude, I really, this really looks like Heroes of Mata Magic. Like, I, I, it really does. What is this? I keep a gallon erect this monument to forever be a warning. The earthen shall know the wrath of the titans if they defy their will again. From this day forward they will be bound more tightly to my will and that of our titan overlords. If they again defy us or the titans no longer require their aid, they will be forcefully deactivated with extreme prejudice. Sure is such is my will, such is the will of the titans. That's a very big threat. Oh, you can use the yak mount? Okay. Oh yeah, true. I want to see Fuselkasa's face. Right. How's the alpha? I'm having a lot of fun. So this is uh, the second delve that we've seen, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll do uh, rank 2 again. Rescue group of Earth and miners who has been captured by Fungarians. Okay. Let's go. Please gather your party before queuing. Um, okay, Mariel, I'm gonna give you lead. Whenever Bonnie's done setting up his stuff, we'll um, we'll we'll send it. Okay, uh, Bonnie send Bonnie is uh, setting up the group, so I'll, I'll just uh, do this real fast while he's setting up his stuff. So this is the second delve I've seen called the Fungal Folly. So from what I've seen so far, delves are very similar, almost to like, in a way, Elden Ring dungeons. You just go around the world, and then there's like random delves that you can do. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Oh my god, it's deep. Holy shit. Splat. If this bounces me up, I'm gonna be happy. Wait. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Sporbit. I'm gonna try to get a hit. Oh, so it's like an explosion. Okay. Oh, this place is sick looking. Wait, this place looks sick, chat. Dude, interesting. Oh, stolen loader. Okay. So there's a bunch of rare mobs inside of here and then a bunch of treasures you can pick up and shit. 
It seems. Okay, let me do this guy here. Big demolish damage. There we go. Nice. Execute. Creates a barrier that absorbs 300,000 damage on expiring. The shield will explode. Okay. So far, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite... I'm, I'm quite positive. Um, do this, big damage. There we go. Uh, I think I forgot to assign him, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, okay. Return the personal journal to Ronish and Donegal. Okay, cool. The final boss is up here somewhere. All two? Uh, that's my uh, demolish ability. What is this? Oh, haste. Nice. I have crabophobia. Oh, sh oh, cra wait! I'm a mushroom, dude. It turned me into a fucking mushroom. <laughs> dude, look at me. Oh, wait. I tried to laugh, but it didn't work. Hey, hold. Let me try to dance. Oh, I can't dance either, sadly. Oh, this is the final guy. Spins room. Dude, look at that hat, man. That's a wicked looking hat. Okay, let me mess this guy up. Let's go in. Avatar, Dragon's Roar, Big Rend. We do Demolish. Holy. Fungal Storm. There we go. Bonk. 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 Okay, and that's the Delve. That's it. I didn't even get to see the mechanic. So the delves are really fast. But I suppose there's gonna be a lot of kind of like affixes, I suppose, the, the higher level you go with them. Right? Charm Chab, a Signet. Okay, so we got a Signet. Delve Rare Key. Oh, wait, so you need like keys for that. Interesting. So you, you can get higher rewards if you have to, some higher level keys. Okay. If there's no challenge, you will end up like Warfronts. I could see this being really fun with actual mechanics and different like kind of affixes and stuff like that. I think it has big potential. I don't know if it's going to end up being good. But I think Delves do have potential to be really fun and really good. There we go. Alright, so we're queuing up for the... What is it called? The Rookery? Let's go. Let's queue up for the dungeon, guys. Uh, throw the keg of Cinderbrew meat into the Nerubian burrow and then return to the meat yard. Okay, so we are gonna be blowing them up. Samago Rogue Days expansion. I, I really like Warrior in, like, current WoW. A lot. Come over here. Okay, give me one sec. I'll, I'll come over there. Damn. That's, there she is, man. Why is she so angry? Maybe it's a phase, I don't know. What's up? Oh, you're... Oh! 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 Take your clo... What? Um, uh... I can't... Uh... Just like in Norway. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Don't fuck. Okay, dude. Like, what are you on about? Um. <clears throat> Why do you have? You got like, like a like a candle on your head. Wow. You like the water? Yeah, it's nice. Um. <clears throat> it's very nice. Is it relaxing? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Do not call chat. Okay, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, it was very nice. Very nice. Oh, I okay. You, I did not break the top. I I gotta go. Thank you. Thank you, kind my lady. My lady. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Thank you, my lady. You are welcome. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's continue uh, leveling, guys. <clears throat> all right, all right. Over here, over here, guys. Let's go. Alright, so we gotta hold up the attack here. Wait, what am I doing? What is going on? Def 
Am I playing tower defense? Place our defenses in their path, the honey will slow them down. The mead will, and pollen will help us tear through them. What? Am I playing tower defense? What is this one? Okay, I place my defenses. What? Jinji is here? Damn. Prepare your... Oh, shit. So I'm like from above. Oh, shit. It, it is kind of like a tower defense, actually. Static pulse. Oh, that kills the one near me. Okay. There's some stock over there as well. Oh, I should have put, put it closer, man. Okay, go away. Got that. Oh, what's that? Stubborn earth and you will not impede my ascension. Okay. This is the, the milady from earlier. Oh, work in progress. Uh, Real-time cutscene. Uh, Belgrim sacrifice. The fuses have been sabotaged. The cakes cannot be lit. Belgrim knows he must do it himself. Delgon, a Delgon attempts to stop him, but he does not listen. Belgrim rushes on his storm hook and smashes the barrels. The cinderbrew ignites from the massive blast of lightning. The entire mead yard explodes, killing both Sirix and... Oh shit, he dies? Oh, twisting paths. He's gone. We did it, but he's gone. It's like reading a book, guys. You gotta imagine.